count of three. Hold up which law you think it is. One, two, three, go. Oops. Is it this one or this one? Yeah, you're right. In both cases. You are 100% right, and everybody got this one, it's third law, so now what I want you to do is compare your reasoning to mine. So I wrote, when one skater pushes against the other, there's an equal force pushing them back against them. Here's what I want you to do. Look back at your answer. If you have anything that sounds remotely similar to equal force, I need one of these. If you got something that you'd like, I think I kind of got it halfway, give me a halfway, thumbs down as I would probably need to try that one again at this point. So show me. Michael, how'd you do? Alright, last one. Satellite will stay in orbit around the Earth traveling at hundreds of miles per hour for years until it runs into enough some tiny little small pieces of space dust that it finally slows down and stops orbiting. You and your partner, this is an example of which and why. This one's going to be shorter because you guys are doing much better. Ready to go. Okay, let's make this one quick. <coughs> On the count of three, show me one flow. Ready? One, two, three, go. First law is exactly right. Here, you can fill in my blank. A satellite in motion will stay in motion, stay in motion until what little pieces are running into it? Space. Right, this is a real issue. When, do you guys know what the space station Mir is? Yeah. Was, I guess. So space station Mir was this big space station that was put up by the Russians. And it was up there for a long, 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 long time. But, I can't even remember how many years ago it was. But it started to slow down, slow down, slow down. When something slows down, what's going to happen to it if it's up in space? can't stop in space because gravity is going to take hold. What's gravity going to do to the space station? Yeah. It's going to say, your time is up, and it starts pulling it down into the planet. How would you feel if space station Mir landed on your house? I would. I'd be like, you Russians are taking hold of All right, so this is what scientists have to do. You probably remember... I remember an Air Force commercial where there was like, oh no, the two satellites are going to run into each other, and they had to like move them around. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's, that's real stuff using Newton's laws. Okay, cool. Okay, so I want you to do this next. I've got four stations, so could you please flip your paper over? This is for your independent personal practice this time. Here's how this is going to work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the first station on the screen. There are <coughs> green questions, there are yellow questions, and there are red questions. Green is easy, yellow is medium, red is hard. Here's how it's going to work. We are all as a class, even though you're working independently, we're all going to start on green. So I'm going to show you the first question. Everyone's going to do green. So on your paper, what I need you to do, it's got station one labeled. Since everyone's starting on green, it's already labeled green. What I want you to do is put in your answer. The very first one's multiple choice. All the rest of them after that are short, are short answers. So, we'll do this one real slow together the first time around. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds. An object will blank if no outside forces are acting on it. Pick your favorite multiple choice. Jot it down, please. Right. If you got the last question right, your color is now yellow. 
This time I need a little bit longer of, a, of an answer. Let me just explain the picture real quick because you're going to see it again too. I know it's kind of hard to see, that's why I've got to explain. So here's this guy, what's he jumping off of? A boat, he's jumping onto the dock. Okay? If you were a green, I want to know. He's going to fall. The, don't give away any answers, please. The man applies a force with his foot so that he can jump to the dock. Why does the boat also move? If you're green, I need the answer to this question. If you got the last one right, though, you're yellow, I need the answer to this one. Which of Newton's laws is the reason for why the man will get wet in the picture above? And explain how you know that. This explain part is key, and I need that part. If you've got a minute, I need your answer on your paper. Ready, set, go, please. Thanks, Mr. Sure thing. That was easy. It's lost. Very good. They're not supposed to be hard. They're supposed to be practiced. Oh, <laughs> if you're doing yellow, don't forget to put down which law. And the explains. So you've got two parts. That's a lot of A's. Yeah. We need to do like a day on just a strong A lot of people are more of an astronomy class. You have a whole unit on astronomy and physics. Give me a sign if you need a little more time. Okay, a few more seconds. Okay, even if you're not done, that's okay. I need you to assess your answer. So here are mine. They're in purple on the screen. Here's your job. You do not have to write down the whole thing. In fact, I'm going to come around and tell you to stop if you do. Here's what you are doing. Notice the box where it says corrections to my answer. You may not. Yeah. Okay, good. Thanks. Here's your job. Read what I have. And you are, you're responsible for pulling out the key points. So for example, the very first thing is pretty obvious on the yellow question. If you didn't put third law, you didn't fix that over in corrections to my answer. Should have been third law. If you didn't put something about pushing and equal forces, you need to put over in the corrections by R. Something about equal forces. Yes, sir? No, it's that the boat uh, can't push back. That's why you fall. It is pushing back. Just not because hard enough to keep, not, just not hard enough to push them up on the dock. So here's the thing. Let's say the dock was on dry, or the boat was on dry land. Okay. When he pushes on the boat, what does the boat push on? The ground. Is the ground going to be able to push back pretty hard? Yeah. But he's on water. Is the water pushing back on the boat hard enough? No, and that's why it moves. Okay. You need to make a judgment call. I need you to go over to the my corrections box. If you think that your answer is perfect, write that. No corrections needed. Oh, okay. All right, station number three is coming. If you got, let's say you did green on this last one. If you got green right, what are you going to go on to the next one? Yellow. yellow. So if you did yellow this time and you got yellow wrong, where are you going to go? Yellow again. Back to green. Back to if you got yellow wrong, you go back to green. If you got yellow right, here's what you're going to do. Now you get to do red. So for station three, you need to go into the first box. Tell me if you're doing green, yellow, or red. Next box over, please give me your answer. What is the one? What? What's the thing you just saying? Over 